Okay, I'm back again, and today we are going to do a quick flip through and short review on the Halloween Tarot by a Kipling West. Um, oops, let's see that card in there. The cards in there. That's it. All right, it comes with. A pretty short little book with background, um, some layouts, talks about the major and minor arcanas, nothing really remarkable about the book itself. Um, so, let's see what we got here. A pretty decent card stock, pretty good there. All right, and this is the Halloween Tarot. A brief introduction, with, which is kind of neat. All right, here we go. Full magician, the High Priestess, Emperor. Now this is actually a really cute little deck. Um, it falls into the category of what I would call a novelty deck, so it would be great with uh, for collectors, but I also actually know people who use this deck on a regular basis. Um, imagery, not necessarily traditional per se. Um, I think if you're new to the tarot, you might be better off um, going with something like a Rider Waite or a Morgan Greer if you're just learning. That's cute. I like that. Alright, so the Minor Arcana starts with pumpkins as a suit instead of pentacles or coins. Uh, that's a, actually a very, very pretty card. And ghosts for cups. There we have bats. Okay, and for wands, it looks like we are using imps, which means the bats were for swords. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we are getting towards the end of the deck. Um, all in all, this is a really well done deck. The artist is extremely talented. Um, oops. So, um, I would recommend this deck. Um, if you are new to the tarot, I would suggest that 
again, doing some study before picking this deck up and trying to use it on the regular. Um, but otherwise, really, really cute deck.